the Ambassador of the Republic of Korea, Your Excellency uh, Mr. Park, Country Director, Mr. Ra, for Kweka, and Korean Embassy officials and senior officials of the Ministry of Health, Director of PBS, Mr. Mateka. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a big binaka and thank you. Thank thank you. Bolo, Bolo Milak, and welcome again to the Ministry of Health headquarters. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since we met in person here. Yes. But now, certainly, as you've alluded to since yesterday with the ease of restrictions, that has now become possible. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and so far, we've, we've seen that, uh, that the, the vaccine has been, uh, certainly, uh, the vaccination that's happened over the last uh, intervening months. Mm -hmm. Now we sit at a threshold of 96% that have received the first dose and uh, about 75% with mm -hmm. the second dose. And uh, we are great, very grateful for the support of our partners, uh, especially the, as of today, the, the government of Korea and also Quaker for mm -hmm. supporting us. We acknowledge that the Korean government, uh, through the embassy, have supported us up to $400,000 per year of mask, face shields, protective suits. In addition, Quaker has also provided um, the masks, PPE kits, infrared uh, thermometers, totally 420,000 Fijians. And these have been delivered to most of our hospitals. Uh, furthermore, as you've alluded to, uh, we look forward to the receiving the ambulances, mm -hmm. which are here is about 450,000 US dollars, or 900,000 Fijian, which will aid in the support of our services, not only for COVID, but also in the new normal as mm -hmm. we move forward uh, uh, with the COVID and our normative work. As you also know that we are now entering into the into the cyclone season. So, mm -hmm. as a ministry, we are also preparing ourselves for, what, for whatever the climate will bring to us. We continue to thank our multilateral partners for supporting us because in supporting us, we are able to uh, roll out our programs mm -hmm. for COVID response, for vaccination for adults, vaccination for children, and also our normative work. These are all important. And, uh, and it's also, as you've alluded to, the ease of restrictions have come around, come about because of the increase in the uh, number of fully vaccinated uh, in the country. And we encourage all Fijians that have been vaccinated once to be mm -hmm. vaccinated, and the remainder 6%, 5% that haven't been vaccinated to be vaccinated. Because it is important to be vaccinated for one's own personal protection and also for helping to protect one another. Mm -hmm. um, out of interest, just to let you know that uh, we also are ensuring that we have the mechanisms in place for the border reopening. Uh, we have mm -hmm. established a border health protection unit, uh, mm -hmm. and we've also established the assets around it uh, through the support of our multilateral partners, so that to ensure that when we do have visitors, uh, they are uh, protected as well as our communities are protected. The knowledge of COVID-19 and vaccine immunology will continue to evolve, but what is very apparent is that natural immunity alone is not sufficient. One must be vaccinated, yeah. and we continue to encourage everyone to be vaccinated. And lastly, I'd like to congratulate uh, the government of Korea, the Korean government, for this year being the 50th year of mm -hmm. our uh, diplomatic relationships between Korea and Fiji. We've certainly enjoyed it, appreciated it, and as uh, a Ministry of Health and as a government, we've benefited immensely from that relationship. Okay. I'd like to thank you and congratulate you for reaching out to us, for supporting us, because that really is what friendship is all about. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. God I bless you, you and God bless Quaker and God bless the people of Korea. Thank you very much. Thank you. The Honorable Efraimi well done. The Minister of Health, <laughs> <laughs> Minister of Health and Medical Services, yeah. and Mr. Ragab Che, the Ragab. Country Director of Koika Fiji Office, w. and distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. The Pula Binaka, good morning. Annyeonghaseyo in Korean. I'm pleased to participate in this handover ceremony of COVID-19 related supplies to the Ministry of Health and Medical Services today. I hope that today's donation of personal protective equipment and the non-contact infrared thermometers 
will further strengthen the Fijian government's rigorous efforts to contain the COVID-19 outbreak. And it would support the frontline health workers, enabling them to deliver essential medical services safely and effectively. And in taking this opportunity, I'd like to commend the Fijian government's strong leadership and the firm commitment to responding to the COVID-19 pandemic over the past two years. And this unwavering dedication shown by the Ministry of Health and Medical Services and its staff deserves credit for keeping the situation under control. And also the Fijian people's cooperation and observance <coughs> of containment measures and restrictions are okay. equally admirable. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, honorable minister, uh, with the smooth COVID-19 vaccine rollout, mm -hmm. the Fijian government has already hit the mark of 70% okay. vaccination and is now reaching the 80% threshold soon. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad to see more relaxation mm -hmm. and changes starting this week, such mm -hmm. as opening restaurants and sports mm -hmm. facilities. Mm -hmm. I have full confidence that these relaxed safeguards will boost Fiji's economy mm -hmm. and prepare Fiji back to the new normal in the post-COVID-19 era. And I also would like to note that the Korean residents in Fiji have received the vaccines thanks to the Fiji government's inclusive vaccination policy. And as a Korean ambassador, I'd like to convey our deepest gratitude and appreciation for the kind of consideration of the Fijian government. And this year marks the 50th anniversary of diplomatic relations between Fiji and Korea. Okay. And it is encouraging that our two countries have worked side by side in tackling the challenges of coronavirus since the spring of last year. And our close partnership in battling against COVID-19 has been an excellent example of the fortifying and the growing bond between our two countries. Okay. And looking ahead, the Korean government is planning to donate the ambulances Thank you. Uh, worth 900,000 Fijian dollars to the Fijian government by the end of this year. And I hope that our partnership will continue to expand in the future to the benefit of both countries' peoples and their health. And before closing, I'd like to extend my sincere gratitude to Honorable Minister Wang Gai Nambete and his team for successfully organizing today's event. Thank you. And Binata Bakalev.